Hello, I am Alex Nickel, software developer here at Weatherbug, and I'm going to go through some of the features of our new Windows Phone 7 application. So here you see our live tile. This is updated using the push service that we have implemented, and you can set any of your locations to be your live tile location, and even set the frequency that it should get updated. It will use a badge to show you that you've got unviewed alert notifications for serious weather events. Um, so if you just tap on the live tile to launch into our app. And you see it's already loaded up here with weather data. This is our now screen. Um, kind of gives you an overview for your day. If you'd like to delve in, you can click on this area here. It will give you all the observations that this current weather station is providing. Um, here's back back out to the now screen. You've got uh, today's forecast and kind of a five-day overview of the forecast. You click on that, you'll dive into our forecast screen. Here we've got a um, number of days. You could let's go look at Friday. Now we'll click on the hourly pivot, and here we've got uh, the full day's hourly forecast. I can scroll down and see what's going to be doing. Um, these are connected, so if I want to back up to, let's say, Tuesday, flip back to the details, and now I'm at Tuesday. So if I back up, um, this information is also provided on this forecast page. So here you see a vertically scrolled list with your full week, and you can also click to dive in. Um, also here I'll note that if you click on your location, you get um, a nice list with the summary for the weather at all the locations you've added. So let's just set, uh, we'll go to Dallas, Texas. So here I've got Dallas, Texas keyed in to show you our alert feature. Here's an alert here. If I tap on that, it'll show you the full details for that alert that's going on in Dallas, which is a flash flood watch. And I'm now going to back out. So now let's take a look at some of the functionality in our maps. In the main section of the app, you get a nice map with uh, whatever layers you have active, and you click this button and it'll launch you into the Bing Maps portion of our app. And now I'm just going to hit play, and it will start animating the weather. Uh, we have three different weather layers you can add, uh, a temperature, satellite overlay, and a radar. And here you see the current storm going on in Dallas. And I'm going to just zoom in here and take a look. The Bing Maps provides you a really nice experience. So I'm going to stop that and let's just zoom out here kind of get a better overall picture of the weather. So that's our maps feature in a nutshell. I'm going to back out and take you to our cameras screen. And we have a little scrolling list here with uh, all the local camera images that are in the area. So that's in Dallas. Looks kind of cloudy there. Um, and we have some other content in this area. We've got uh, a weather video and a pollen forecast for this area. And that kind of rounds out the uh, brief overview of this app.